I think you're missing out on a very promising skincare brand, Bioma. If you haven't heard of it already, I think you will very soon. Because this brand has recently gained popularity as one of the most affordable and effective skincare lines in the UK. Bioma is a relatively new brand, but celebrities have started mentioning them already. It started in 2020. It has lots of products from face wash and moisturizer to different active serums. But today, what I'm going to review for you is their body care line. It's, I think good affordable body care products are scarce in the market. Can Bioma be our savior for the body care products? Let's find out. Hello, this is Sara Deba. I love science, skincare and science of skincare. And today's quest is to learn all about Bioma body care products. I've tried four new products from Bioma body care line. Some of them were good, some of them not so good. I'll discuss all of their pros and cons from my very personal experiences. Anyway, let's start. The first product I'm going to review today is the Bioma Hydrating Body Wash. Now, I'll admit, I'm usually not the pickiest when it comes to my body care routine. If it's affordable, it's in my cart. That's how this 12 pound jam, 400 ml, generous 400 ml body care product caught my attention. Packaging. Simple, straightforward, and eco-friendly. I'm all about saving the planet while saving some pennies, and Bioma gets that. The bottle opens easily, and the wash glides out without any fuss. Big thumbs up for user-friendly design. The texture of the body wash is a bit thick, liquid-like. It lathers well with or without water, but it's not a foaming body wash. So if you are a fan of lots of fluffy foams like me, you might get a little bit disappointed. The body wash contains multiple soothing skin conditioning and humectant ingredients like glycerin, squalane, beta-glucan, and caprolyl glycol. It has a slight citrus-like smell, which I find quite pleasant. It lathers well, cleanses well, and washes off well. You know the feeling when you didn't know what was missing until you found it? Yep, that's the one. After years of using whatever was on sale, my dry skin finally made its match. This wash didn't just clean, it pampered my skin, leaving it soft, smooth, and seriously happy. I think I can't go back to whatever I get my hands on as my body washes anymore. Next is the Smoothing Body Polish. This is an exfoliating body wash. Before talking about the product, I want to ask you a question. Are you team cleanse, exfoliate, wash every day or the team cleanse, exfoliate, wash once a week? I must confess, my body care routine often gets the backseat. Yes, I'm always on top of cleansing, but exfoliating, uh, not so much. Especially here in the chilly UK, where most of the time my skin is hidden under the lace and not sweating much, I've gotten a bit lazy. So while I was choosing the body care products to purchase from Bioma and saw an exfoliating wash, I knew I needed to purchase it. The packaging is as usual simple and minimalistic. It comes in a 300ml container, contains multiple physical exfoliators and a few soothing and humectant ingredients. Just as the brand claims, this body polish is indeed a very gentle exfoliating wash. The beads are very tiny and don't feel harsh or abrasive. For your information, Bioma actually suggests to use their uh, body polish or exfoliator before their body wash, meaning exfoliator first and then cleansing. But this is not the order I like to clean my body, so I used it the other way around. Bioma claims that this renewing body polish works to refresh and resurface the skin in shower. I agree with this because my skin definitely felt refreshed after using this. However, since it's a physical exfoliator, I'm not going to use it more than once a week. They also claim that the combination of chemical and physical exfoliators gently yet effectively work together to target and balance rough and bumpy skin without stripping the skin barrier. I didn't feel my skin was stripped and it was smoother than before after I exfoliated, so that's a plus point. Bioma further claims that this product combines a blend of probiotic complex, PHA and panthenol to balance body breakouts and ease textured skin by smoothing and soothing redness, irritation and keratosis pilaris. I have an issue with this claim. Physical exfoliator is never going to help with facial or body breakouts or keratosis pilaris. If anything, it's going to make it worse. Even if I consider PHA in it, it's not enough to deal with keratosis pilaris or breakouts. So this claim seems misleading, in my sole personal opinion. The next product I'm going to review from their body care line is the Smoothing Body Serum. 
buckle up because this one is a bit of a splurge at 14 pound for 200 ml a little pricier but let's see if it's worth the extra pennies Bioma trouts this serum as a lightweight superhero that clarifies and treats rough, bumpy skin. They promise it gently exfoliates while soothing sensitivity and boosting hydration to leave your skin feeling calm and clear. How? Oh, it contains mild chemical exfoliants like succinic acid and salicylic bark stack. Perfect for a little skin smoothing without going overboard. This kind of makes sense because Bioma recommends using all their body products lines together. So if you're using this body serum after that exfoliating body polish that I discussed before, it might result in over exfoliation or irritation to the skin if this serum also contained strong chemical exfoliating ingredients. The texture is, as the name suggests, like a gel-based lightweight serum. I used this serum on damp skin for more hydration and moisturization. It dried down pretty first with a matte finish. It's not super moisturizing, but it keeps the skin hydrated and soft. The last body product I'm going to review from Bioma today is Bioma Brightening Body Lotion. Bioma paints a picture of a dreamy body lotion that not only moisturizes, but also brightens and smoothens your skin. They boast about their triceramide complex, combined with urea and niceramide, designed to brighten, even out tone and texture, and deeply hydrate. Sounds fabulous, right? But here's where the things get a bit murky. The ingredient list also contains lactic acid, and I think this is where the exfoliating claims come from. Interestingly though, they mention lactic acid as the pH adjuster category. So I'm not too sure if the lotion contains enough lactic acid to actually effectively exfoliate our skin. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section below. The lotion is smooth, glides very well on the skin as a body lotion should. I don't think it would be moisturizing enough or for my dry skin in the winter though, but in summer, it should be suitable for most skin types. Now my final thought on Bioma body care line and whether I'll recommend these products to anyone. I like that Bioma is an affordable brand and they are trying out various ranges of products from skincare to body care. But what makes me a little bit worried is that for a brand claiming to make products that will repair, rebuild and restore the skin barrier, they contain an awful lot of fragrances. For example, their body serum and body lotion contains up to six fragrant ingredients, which in my opinion, unnecessarily increases the risk of irritation to the skin. Even if you have no sensitivity to fragrances, if you use these products back to back just like I did, and just how power messages, I'm afraid you'll get a headache as the fragrances are just so overpowering. But if you can deal with fragrances and you're willing to try out their body care products, I'd recommend the hydrating body wash and the exfoliating body polish. As for the body serum and lotion, I'm afraid there are better options in the market. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. It will really help grow my channel. Celebrate the progress no matter how small it is. See you next time. Till then, take care of yourself. Don't forget to love the skin you're in. This is Sarah Deepa signing off today from Deepa's Quest.